Hi, my name is Melody Kotick and I am the program manager for the new Edmonton Remand Center project. As you are probably aware, the new Edmonton Remand Center has been under construction for a couple years now and we still have a few more to go before we open in January of 2013. We recently took a tour of the site just to see how it's coming. We have over 600 construction workers on site and it is at its peak. Join us as we take a walk through to see how progress is. What I'm standing in right now is the office area for admissions and discharge. This is where all the staff will be sitting. We have different areas within here. We have our sentence administration staff who will be in charge of booking in the inmates, taking their photographs. We also have some correctional peace officers who will be in charge of applying an identification bracelet to each of the inmates. What this bracelet is for is one for tracking inmates in and out of the building as well as for identification. So when the nurses go and do medication line, they can use a scanner to scan this bracelet and make sure that the correct inmate is receiving their medication. The great thing about our admissions and discharge here is that there are two separate movement streams. On my right is the admissions corridor. On the far side behind is the discharge corridor. Having two separate streams of movement is a safer practice because it allows for no mixing of inmates going out of the building and coming in the building. That way we're not mixing any contraband and ensuring it's a safer experience for everyone. There are a few differences between what you see in these units as compared to what's in the current Edmonton Remand Center. One thing you'll notice is that there are three tiers to these units. The current ones are only up to two tiers. As a result of that, you'll notice that the bars are full height. The reason for that is for safety. Another thing about this facility, it is a direct supervision jail, which means there's no barriers between the staff and the inmates. A lot of people think that this would be something to be concerned about, but research has actually proven that this is a safer environment because it invites open communication between the staff and the inmates. Research has actually proven that it is safer in this kind of workflow. A backup for that is we do have up above the staff station in every living unit a pod control. It has control functions, it monitors the cameras and can handle the doors anywhere inside this living pod. Right now I am standing in the male infirmary, which is affectionately known as the boomerang because of its unique shape. The reason for the shape of this unit is so that we could fit virtually as many cells into this space on one tier as we can into a regular living unit, which has three. For somewhat obvious reasons, you can't expect someone who's housed in an infirmary to be able to get up flights of stairs. This allows wheelchair access for the whole unit. You would also notice that the doors in this unit are wider than typical doors. This allows us to have wheelchair access in and out of the cells. I am currently standing in one of the segregation units of the new Edmonton Remand Center. The big difference behind between segregation and the regular living units is you'll notice there's no bars in the areas behind me. Everything is glassed off. The reason for this is we can keep everyone exercised separately behind glass safely. So while the officer station is actually out in the open, the inmates are all behind glass. Everything they need for their basic human rights is behind that glass area, whether that be the phone, the showers, or a fresh air room. One of the things that staff ask me about this jail is what makes it a better place to work? Aside from direct supervision and research showing that it's a more satis higher job satisfaction being in that kind of environment, we have put a focus on staff services in this facility. Right now I'm standing in our outdoor staff deck. This area will be having picnic tables within it so staff on their lunch breaks can come outside in the summer, enjoy the fresh air, enjoy the natural light. It's also got windows going into right here our staff exercise facility and on the far end our staff cafeteria and kitchen area. The kitchen services are going to be improved on from the current center. It's going to have short order cook, fresh salads, um, meals of every kind that you could possibly want in a cafeteria situation. We also in this center have a staff lounge which is going to have rows of seating and a large television for staff to watch on their breaks. Uh, it'll also have a library facility so staff can catch up on their policies and procedures. We have an internal courtyard. Um, the courtyard and the deck are both outfitted to have barbecues for staff functions. 
Uh, we also have a quiet room. So if there's a situation where we're snowed in, there's a blizzard, and staff are here for a long period of time, they can sit in there and get some peace and quiet, possibly close their eyes on their break. Thank you for joining us for our tour today. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Stay tuned as we'll have another one to post in a few months.